Okay, sons and daughters of God, May 1st. He depended completely on divine power. John 5, 19 says, Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, The Son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the Father do. For what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. Jesus is the perfect pattern, and it is the duty and privilege of every child and youth to copy the pattern. Let children bear in mind that the child Jesus had taken upon himself human nature and was in the likeness of sinful flesh and was tempted of Satan as all children are tempted. He was able to resist the temptation of Satan through his dependence upon the divine power of his heavenly father. As he was subject to his will and obedient to all his commands, he kept his father's statutes, precepts, and laws. He was continually seeking counsel of God and was obedient to his will. It is the duty and privilege of every child to follow in the footsteps of Jesus. It will please the Lord Jesus to have the children ask him for every spiritual grace to bring all their perplexities and trials to the Savior, for he knows how to help the children and youth. Because he was a child himself and was once subject to all the trials, disappointments, and perplexities to which children and youth are subje subject. God's promise is given as much to children and youth as to those of more mature age. Whenever God has given a promise, let the children and youth turn it into a petition and beg the Lord to do those things for them in their experience that he did for Jesus, his only begotten son, when in human necessity he looked to God, asking for the things which he needed. Every blessing the Father has provided for those of more mature experience has been provided for children and youth through Jesus Christ. Have a great day. You're a son and daughter of God.